Hello everyone. Today, I will describe HydroSky Fiber Optic Cable Blowing Machine. You can use it as a user manual as well. First of all, our machine consists of three units. As you see, the first unit is the control unit. The second unit is the driver unit. And the third unit is the hydraulic power unit. The control unit has a hydraulic lever. This lever allows forward and backward motion. Here, you can monitor the pressure provided by your machine. The driver unit consists of three sections. The first section is the length measurement unit, and the second section is the main driver. The third section is the outlet unit. In the length measurement section, the fiber optic cable passes through the wheel and enters the driver unit and proceeds toward the outlet unit. When you open the cover, you see the chains first. By moving the chains forward and backward like this, we ensure the compression of the cable between the chains. In the chain section, the chains should be loose. If they are too tight, it causes overload for the hydraulic motors. This reduces the performance of the machine. Now, I am going to describe how to replace the chains, as well as how to adjust the tension of the chains. First, we take the Allen key provided with the machine. We loosen it a little bit, then we loosen the other one the same way. Then, we take the larger Allen key provided with the machine. As you see, we can tighten and loosen it using the Allen key. So much tightness is quite good. We can do it to this chain and to the other chain as well. We can loosen it this way. We can tighten it this way. This tightness is quite good. Then you can dismantle the chains and replace them with new ones. You can loosen the chains in the same way here. Then we tighten one of your chains by turning in the opposite direction. We tighten this one in the same way. The chains are replaced in this way. You can close the cover after performing the final check. In the outlet unit, there is a compressor coupler provided with the machine. We should loosen these nuts using this key to open this cover. After loosening the bolts and opening the cover, you can see a hydraulic seal here. You can select the hydraulic seal with the right size from the packages provided with the machine. If the diameter of the cable is 10 millimeters as written here, you need to use this hydraulic seal. You can place the hydraulic seal on its bed in this way. The hydraulic seals and pipes touched to the O-rings is very important. If there is a space between them, it causes air leakage. Here, we can attach the O-ring to the pipe in this way and place it in its bed. 
Then, we can complete the process by properly placing the top cover and tightening the bolts on the cover. As you can see, our pipe is placed tightly. Then, we attach our hose from the compressor with the coupler and retract the connector and attach it to the unit. We check it for the last time after attaching it to the unit. In our hydraulic power unit, first of all, we should fill hydraulic oil 46 NO in the unit. We should fill in about 15 to 20 liters of hydraulic oil. We should see the oil level on this gauge. If we do not see it here, the amount of oil filled is insufficient, which leads to poor performance and, in some cases, damage to the machine. This is the oil drain pipe. We recommend that you should change your oil completely every six months. This is the filter and you should first check this filter when there is any clogging, etc. This is a Honda motor. We can make the required adjustments here to start our engine. You should keep in mind to fill gasoline. This is a gas tank that is used in normal cars. First, we switch it to position 1, on. Then, we bring this lever to the middle. From a different angle, it seems like this. Then, we pull the pull string of the motor. As you can see, the machine started running. After starting your machine properly, we can make forward and backward motions using the hydraulic control lever. If you want to increase the power of the motor, you can move this lever upwards. Now I move this lever to the reverse position. Using this lever, we can adjust the change to grip the cable exactly. Now I move this lever to the forward position. With this machine, you can move your fiber optic cable in backward and forward directions. You can gradually pull this lever to the left to increase motor power. You can switch to the off position to turn off the system completely. And you can find here air consumption details for the different duct diameters as a reference. You can easily contact us through our contact page for your additional questions. 
Thank you for watching this video.